All right, guys, thank you. Yeah, what an appropriate day to have a cryptocurrency-based company coming on the show uh, to discuss a little bit about uh, the investment side and the mining side of cryptocurrencies. Jeff Coyen and Jake Chernoff are strategic advisors for Codebase Ventures and join us on the show for the first time. Good to see you, gentlemen. Welcome, and uh, thanks for doing this today. Uh, let's jump right into things here. It's an interesting time to be obviously involved in the cryptocurrency markets, regardless of, of what the scale is. Tell us a little bit about Co uh, Codebase Ventures and how you both got involved. Sure. Codebase Ventures is a public company based in Vancouver. We're traded on the CSE under the ticker code, C-O-D-E. We've been around for several years. We invest in early stage technology and take uh, majority positions as often as possible and work together with early founders to realize you know, their visions. Um, we were early into crypto and blockchain. We survived the dark winter. And uh, we hope we're not heading into another dark winter, but either way, we're building technology that is uh, fundamental and not really dependent on these market swings. And, and we're going to talk about that uh, platform and the technology a little bit here. Arcology, uh, tell us about Arcology, where it fits into the space and how some of the viewers maybe uh, have an interest in that and, and what it can be used for. Yeah, Arcology is very exciting. We were uh, the, the we are the principal investor. We years ago the writing was on the wall that Ethereum was going to face problem scaling. It's the number two cryptocurrency, but it's essentially the number one enter enterprise blockchain uh, with a crypto you know component, and it has trouble scaling. It's expensive to use. It's slow, and if Ethereum had hoped to compete with a Visa or Mastercard network, they're not equipped. So we knew this years ago. So Arcology is founded to be the enterprise blockchain platform that will solve Ethereum's problems, namely around speed and scale and cost. So when it comes to uh, the actual use for this, I mean, when we spoke you know, prior to the interview, you kind of uh, explained it as a bit of an operating system or the, the basis of something that other technologies can be built off of. What is the actual use that is going to be you know, so key going forward for this technology? Right. Ethereum is where it is, is the number two um, and potentially the number one cryptocurrency blockchain platform in the world because it really is an operating system. It's not a single app. It is the place where you build decentralized applications. DeFi being the very popular one right now, NFTs being a big part of this also. But again, it, Ethereum can't scale really to effectively serve global applications that are global in scale. That's what Arcology will do. All the advantages of Ethereum in that you can come build your applications, DeFi, NFTs, anything that's happening on Ethereum can happen on Arcology, but it can run faster and cheaper on our platform. So that is the uh, the primary uh, investment at this point for Codebase. Uh, when it comes to some of the other issues maybe that uh, people might run into when mining cryptocurrencies, I mean, you mentioned the, the scalability. What are the other, you know, inefficiencies, I guess is the best word to, uh, to use, uh, that we run into when it comes to the mining side that this will target? Uh, Jake, you want to talk about the mining side? Sure. Um, Codebase actually recently invested two and a half million dollars into acquiring the infrastructure required to mine the actual Bitcoins themselves. So they'll be setting up their mining facility in upstate New York coming soon. Um, it's great because for two reasons, it will give the company the ability to have recurrent revenue on their balance sheet, but also will expose both Codebase and therefore their investors to the upside of Bitcoin while limiting the volatility associated with holding the actual underlying asset itself. As you can see from <laughs> yesterday's events, it definitely has a tendency to uh, fly out all around the place. So uh, it's a great start for them. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a wild time for uh, cryptocurrencies. Jake, we'll, uh, we'll come to you again here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the NFT side of things. NFTs have been just an amazing, you know, explosion in interest and attention being put to the market uh, since the beginning of this year. Tell us about how Codebase is getting involved in NFTs. Yeah. So just recently, they acquired a 50% stake in a UK-based technology NFT firm, um, which specializes in allowing people to link their social media profiles or social accounts to the blockchain itself and actually mint their own NFTs. Um, and it's great because as opposed to searching out for the new hot NFT that costs millions and millions of dollars, they're building the infrastructure to allow thousands, if not tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people to actually mint their own NFTs and then sell them on the open marketplace. So when it, it comes, yeah, go ahead. 
it, it's a bit cliche and I, I hate to say it, but it's a bit like selling shovels during the gold rush, right? Instead of chasing that big, hot million dollar NFT, they're building up the infrastructure to sell millions and millions of these smaller NFTs and really, really profit from the NFT boom. So when it, I, I mean, this is this is going to be a, a very open question, I guess. But is this a platform that, you know, we'll see down the line as a, a place, a marketplace, if you will, you know, where people can go to both buy and sell NFTs? As of yet, we're not quite sure where we're going to pivot or where this could really grow to. But I believe that once we have the infrastructure and have people on board who are using this site and actually making their NFTs, we can then pivot and then offer it a marketplace where they can then sell them as well. Jake Turnoff and Jeff Coyan joining us, uh, strategic advisors at Codebase Ventures. Uh, Jeff, let's talk a little bit about the overall state of the market at this point. We saw you know, exactly what happened yesterday. We're seeing this impressive uh, move back to the upside uh, today for you know, cryptos right across the board. When it comes to a technology like Arcology, is there is there some sort of stability that we can add to some of these markets? You, you know, and again, this is this is going to be down the road, but is this the type of technology that can add some sort of stability for investors? Yeah, it's exactly what Jake had said. This uh, investing in code base gives you exposure to these technologies without you know what happened yesterday, and you know anyone in crypto knows that it's a fun ride, it's a scary ride. Um, nobody makes money in a flat market either is, is the truism, not just in crypto, but by building the fundamental technology, we think we're getting into the right space. We're not, our, our balance sheet is not exposed, you know, open, overly exposed to the swings of Bitcoin, Ethereum and altcoins, et cetera. But instead we're building fundamental technology that will make money on transactions. Again, our college will not necessarily be making money on the swings themselves, but by building the transactional platform, the more widespread adoption we see, that's where we see our upside on transaction fees and usage fees. And at uh, the CSE here in Toronto under the ticker CODE, Codebase Metros. Guys, mm -hmm. uh, what can investors look forward to in the future from Codebase? We hope to have the Bitcoin mining infrastructure up and live and the company earning revenue in that respect. Uh, additionally, we hope to have Arcology's public testnet live so developers can come on and interact and really see you know, the day and night difference between the speed and um, cost associated with using Ethereum versus Arcology. So. Jake Chernoff and Jeff Coyan, strategic advisors at Codebase. Uh, great to speak to you uh, today, guys. Uh, the best of luck going forward. We look forward to an update in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. There you go, guys. Look at uh, another uh, angle when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency markets, code base ventures, again, C O D E listed here on the CSE.